Eat, Sleep, Boxing, Repeat. I'm joined by Stevie McKenna um, this afternoon. Uh, Stevie, how are you doing? Hi, um, keeping great. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, really good. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks very much for asking. Um, might be a, a silly question to start off with. Um, whereabouts? Whereabouts are you at the moment? I'm back at my home gym here in Ireland. It's a gym at the back of my house here. Oh, lovely. Uh, so I'm right here. Yeah, I was in uh, Manchester. Uh, for the week, I was sparring over there, getting ready for my fight. So I've had great preparation for it. Nice, nice. And so when when did you, have you been, um, are you still residing in LA? Are you still spending most of your time there? Uh, we're back here since the, the whole COVID has come in with the lockdown. We had trouble getting back into America. So we've been situated back over here in Ireland and in the UK. We're over and back doing a lot of sparring in all, the, all of the gyms. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, me, my dad, and my, my brother Aaron, we train together. Uh, my dad, my coach, so uh, we make a, a really good team and we work well with each other. Good. And moving forwards, I know that obviously COVID will be with us for some time. Um, what do you think? What do you think is going to be your situation for the next six months to a year? Are you still going to be doing what you're doing in terms of moving from the UK to Ireland, or do you see yourself moving moving, moving back to America? Yeah, I'm not too sure. Uh, to be honest, but with everything that's happened, you know, with the COVID and that. So I'm just going to continue training as normal and just stay, stay ready in the gym and get the best quality sparring I can get. So we've been getting quality sparring over in England, getting good, tough sparring. And that's what that's what I need in, in, in my career for my fights yeah. as well. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back out in September 10th and showing everyone what I can do. Fantastic. So, yeah, moving on to yeah, September the 10th, Fights in Coventry, Channel 5 again, big platform fighting on Channel 5, which I think is fantastic. Um, first thing I wanted to clear up with you, with you, Stevie, was in terms of weight, are you, are you, can, are you going to be campaigning at welterweight in, for the future? Or are you moving back down to super lightweight? What's, what, what does your future look like weight-wise? Yeah, I'm going to be uh, fighting at uh, welterweight now from now on. So, I was a big, super lightweight, and I'm going to grow into a, a massive welterweight as well. So mm. uh, I find myself being very strong at the weight, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Fantastic. And was that just a case of you weren't able to make super lightweight anymore, or you think you're just a better fighter at welterweight? What, 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 why did you actually make that decision to, to stay at welterweight? Uh, well, I'm, I'm six foot one. So super lightweight, you know, I can I could make the weight. There's no problem with it, but I'm still growing and getting bigger and stronger. So I'm gonna build into a a welter, a welter weight. There's no point training myself down to super lightweight when you know I'm I'm a I'm a big guy. So yeah, but one and I I can even go up even more weights no matter you know in my career you know I have the height for it. So I'm gonna be fighting a welter weight. No, makes a lot of sense. And um, so next next month, what do you have an opponent yet? Do you know what sort of opponent the fans can expect to see you fight? Uh, the opponent, we're just waiting on it to be confirmed, but it's going to be you know, a step-up fight. I'm just looking forward to getting back into the ring and fighting again with the, with the COVID. It slowed things down a bit, so I'm looking to getting back on track, fighting consistently. And uh, with Mick Hennessy and Channel 5, it's, it's massive for me. It's going to you know, help my career fighting on Channel Five, getting my name out there to all the audience. You know, it's massive fighting on live free terrestrial TV, and uh, I'm looking forward to putting on an entertaining performance on yeah. September 10th. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, yeah, we're, we're we're looking forward to it. I think um one thing I'm interested to see from your from your next fight is. Have you got someone who can who can give you rounds? I know recently your last fight was a, a one round job. Fight before that was a three round job. What can is do you want rounds for your next fight? Or are you still happy to be blowing these guys away in in a, in a couple of rounds? What's the what's the what's the priority? Yeah, well, it, it doesn't matter really to me. Uh, if I if I see the opportunity to get a guy out of there in there, I'll take it. But I'm also prepared to go the distance, so I'm ready for whatever the rounds is, you know, I'm sparring eight, 10 rounds in the gym at nearly every day. So I'm prepared to go the distance at every time. And through the last couple of years, the experience I've got in the gym is it nearly better than any of the fights. You know, the experience I've got with the world champions I've been in with, I've been in with a lot of good guys 
and I know what it's like to be in with them and what you have to do and what I can do. So the experience I've got, not many fighters have got, you know, the sparring and that. And that. So, yeah. uh, but no doubt you will see, you know, hope over the next couple of fights, you know, more rounds as well. Yeah. And are you, are you expecting to have, um, as you move up the levels to so say we're here in a couple of years time and you're, you're fighting for big, you're fighting for big titles as you're on the bigger, you're on a bigger stage. Are you, would you still expect to win by KO? Do you think as the opponent goes up in, in class, you can still, you can still get those knockouts or do you think it's more likely that in a couple of years time, you're going to be winning more of your fights by, by, by points decision? Well, any fight I watch, you know, I'll, I'll always be going for the knockout or, you know, if I see it, see the knockout, I'll take it. So it doesn't matter uh, who who the opponent is or, you know, what they can do. If I if I land a good solid punch to someone, they're going down. Yeah. You know, I'm a hard hitting I'm a hard hitting welterweight, and whoever they want to put in front of me, we'll see. So. Yeah. Cool. Nice one. So um, when I was doing like my research into you um earlier today, I was kind of looking at potential future fights and I'm not trying to like play matchmaker here but there was one the fight I just wanted to put across to you obviously if you're going to be fighting at welterweight um another Irish welterweight out there who's similar record to you has a good start to his career is Paddy Donovan is that someone who do you think could be on your radar anytime soon or not and I respect you're very you're still very early on in your careers but is that is that someone is that someone you know at all yeah, definitely. Any 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 fight that comes my way in the future, you know, I'm willing to fight anyone. And so once I get up up the ladder, I, I'll be looking to make big fights happen. Whoever wants it can have it. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing exciting fights in the future, especially with McKennessy and Channel 5. It, it's going to be massive. Yeah. And it's the, I don't want to harp on about it too much, but it's the Paddy Donovan fight. Is that one that appeals to you more than others because obviously you're both undefeated both irish both young both looking really good is that is that is, is that a fight that does that does appeal to you or is it a fight that if it didn't happen you would you you wouldn't be that fussed about yeah i'm sure i'm sure it's a fight that the fans would love to see as well so hmm. uh down the line there's going to be big fights like that happening and it'd be definitely a fight that could happen yeah well, fingers fingers crossed. It's, it's a fight I'd, I'd I'd like to see in a year or two. That's for sure. Um, just wanted to ask you. You mentioned um, you mentioned sparring then. Um, and I saw on your Instagram that you sparred Josh Taylor fairly recently. Um, which I'm sure that was great sparring for you. Um, any other kind of big any other big impressive names that that, that you sparred that you've had had really good experience from recently? Uh, recently, well, Josh Taylor. He was in May. Yeah, I did a. Uh, a couple of weeks sparring with him. So once I came back after this fight, I've been over and back in England a lot. And I was sparring uh, Robbie Davis Jr. He's a he's another cracking fighter. And just uh, there, this, uh, this week in Manchester, I was getting good sparring as well, good tough sparring with uh, different lads. So the sparring I've been getting, is, uh, it's been good for me for this fight. Good tough sparring. Yeah, that no, sounds it. Sounds it. And, and speaking of Josh Taylor, obviously he's holding all the belts at. 140 at the moment. Um, do you have any, th- what are your thoughts on him moving up to 147 and possibly challenging the likes of Crawford Spence next year? How do you think, how do you think he would, he would get on against the top guys at welterweight? Yeah, Josh Taylor's a tremendous fighter. He's, he's not down the speed of champion for no reason. He, he carries all four belts. So he moved up. Yeah. He'd, he'd, uh, any of them fighters, you know, Josh Taylor could, could beat any of them. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, really, really hope that we we see that. Cool. Now we go going through these 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 yeah these questions really quickly, Stephen. But just also wanted to ask, um, what's your? I know your brother Aaron is on the same on the same platform as you. I don't believe he's fighting in a couple of weeks. Is that right? What's up? Is Aaron's not fighting in a couple of weeks? Is he? No, he, he's just in the gym staying ready for whatever comes. He's been training here like a savage. Me and him does a yeah. lot of sparring with each other. So. We help each other a lot, you know, with the sparring we get with, with each other, with bring each yeah. other on. And how would you describe your relationship that you have with your brother? Obviously, you've kind of grown up with him, but are you 
are you kind of very close is there is there much of a sibling rivalry there when it comes to who can do the most of whatever in the gym how would how would you describe it to people that to people that don't know you too well yeah we're very competitive with each other we get on really well but we're competitive no matter what it is you know in training and that he's always trying to beat me and i'm trying to beat him so we bring each other on that's what you need you need competitiveness in your camp and uh me and him, we've trained with each other our whole lives, so along with my, my dad coaching us. So we're we're a great team and you know uh, we we couldn't be getting any you know better work with each other when they if we're ever trouble getting spar running, we have each other to spar. Yeah. So yeah, we work a lot with each other. Good stuff. And I think obviously as your guys' profiles continue to increase, which I'm sure they will under the platform you're fighting on. Um do you what what sort of similarities or comparisons do you think the general public are going to make between you and him in regards to your different fighting styles and your positions? What what, what do you think people are going to have to say about you? And I'll just put it to you, like I think whether it was kind of the Edwards brothers or the Klitschko brothers, a lot of people had their opinion over who the better brother was. What do you think? What do you think people are going to be saying about about the two of you in 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 a, in a couple of years when they know when they know more about you? Yeah, we're both really exciting style fighters so one thing for sure you know everyone's gonna know us is entertaining fighters aren't a very technical smart fighter as well you can fight going forward and on the back foot so uh we both have some similarities as well but uh you know we're gonna try to be as entertaining and win win big mass of fights and style yeah sounds good now looking forward to following following both of you both of your journeys um Final question for me, really, Stevie, was I know you've been yeah been fighting in the U in, in the UK the past couple of years under Mick under Mick Hennessy, and um, you've been able to obviously still fight during the pandemic, which which has been which has been great. Earlier in your career, you um fighting in the US. Where where do you see yourself fighting in the next, for like for the majority of your career in the next couple of years at least? Do you think you're going to stay in the UK or go back to the US? Is there is there the possibility of you fighting in Ireland? Do you think? Yeah, well, Mick Kennedy has big, big, big plans for me back here in the UK and in Ireland. So, hoping, hopefully, we can get some events from in Ireland and here in England. So, over the next couple of years, I'm going to be based in Ireland and in UK. Mm. And, uh, Mick Kennedy is going to bring me to World Championship glory, I have no doubt. Yeah, now looking forward. So, Matt, yeah. if, if we're here in two or three years' time, you're fighting for a world title. Any venue in the world, UK, US, Ireland, anywhere. Where, where, where's, where's, where's your dream venue? I'd like one in Ireland here, my hometown, or you know, anywhere in Ireland, really. But yeah. The dream would be to get a world world title back in Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. And would the dream right. also to be for your brother to be kind of fighting for being in a similar position to yourself on on the same night? Is that what you would like ideally, or would you like to be focusing on yourself one night, being able to support your brother on another night? What's 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 the dream night for you? Yeah, it'd be nice. It'd be nice if both of us could get a world title shot in the same card. You know, what what wouldn't be better than that? Two two brothers fighting for world titles on the same card. So hopefully we're looking forward to big future fights and you know it's gonna be exciting. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Well, yeah, Steve, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but um yeah, really appreciate you being 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 so honest, being so honest with me. Um yeah, was there anything else you wanted to add at all? No, nah, just everyone, tune in September 10th if you want to see live explosive, explosive performance from Hitman. Be ready. Uh, I'm coming. Great. Thanks very much, Steve. Well, all the best for September 10th. We'll be, we'll be tuning in, and yeah, would be would be good to catch up again soon. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers, Steve. You're all the best, mate. Take care. All right. Take care. All right.